come from a hacker background. Um, hacker background actually what got me started in skip tracing. Uh, at the time, my brother and me didn't actually know what skip tracing was. So we actually called it playing video games. Um, from there, um, I started hooking up with uh, Def Con Group, because I didn't know I was a hacker. Um, it was it was the community that actually that actually showed me what I was and gave me a family and a way to learn. Uh, my talk was uh, skip tracing for fun and profit. It was talking about getting a real time location from a uh, from a target's uh, personal information and online social media. Um, it was talking about uh, how to counter counter those tactics in skip tracing. Uh, it gave uh, two real world examples and the tools and techniques that were used. I believe it was uh, set up properly and managed properly. It would have been nice to have a bigger room so more people could, because there was, there, was, there was two long lines outside. I think Recon Village next year should be ten times bigger. I think Recon Village is going to be the next sky top. Um, I think Recon and Intelligence is a huge thing in, in, the, in the community. Huge thing in the community. The problem is, is people not realizing that they really are the best in their field. They really are the badasses in OSINT and counterintelligence and third intelligence. And tools and techniques, I mean, there could be multiple talks for something like that. Not, not even just building your own tool. The, uh, something, something that, one of the reasons why less than about 10 to 50% of talks at DEF CON, specifically in the main tracks, are less than intelligence is because people feel that threat intelligence is just a buzzword. It's really not. The, the way the hacker mind works uh, intelligence is, is a huge thing. It's really overlooked. I mean, seriously overlooked.